this is the last week T that I ain't really get a chance to like dive deep in that kind of spilled over to this week okay and it's the Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty Cardi B offset situation okay y'all know VMAs took place uh last week I believe it was it seemed like it was so far away maybe it was <sighs> Nicki Minaj hosted the VMAs right um at the VMAs was her man Kenneth Petty Kenneth Petty had a friend named Sturdy they were all on social media showing themselves Kenneth said yeah we in the building in case NIGGAs want to get crazy someone affiliated with to Sturdy reposted Sturdy's uh story to their story or their his reel to their story and started to act Cardi B and just make all this noise right so then I guess Offset, like a lot of other people, assumed that it was Sturdy that said it, even though I feel like he still had ill intent behind it. So he decided he was going to hop into the DMs of Sturdy and was like, what's your location? And it's like, I, that's the Offset, as we go into 2024, baby, I want you to delete that from your vocabulary because you stay asking people where they located and knowing that you ain't never finna pull up, period. Just stop that. Stop it stop that so anywho asked to do where they was at but definitely told the man that they was broke as hell and they need to get some money y'all out here in female business okay he ain't never lied okay in that moment he was telling the truth that's what it was giving girl okay um next thing you know that would happen on like a thursday or something by that saturday morning 4 or 5 a.m in the morning at a time when kenneth petty could have been spending time with his other children because people swear he only got one kid with Nicki minaj and that man got other kids no matter how much they try to parade around like it's a family of three so he he on the corner with his homeboy sturdy and some other uh nigglets or whatever y'all want to refer to them as okay they all in the camera talking big talk yeah what up what up though what up money good what's up what's good what's good offset offset what's good we out here yeah offset dm me da 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 yeah 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 all that big talk stop believing in these baby i don't believe in none of y'all i don't even know why nikki believes in you okay stop believing in these you know what i'm saying you out there planning a vacation you're gonna be planning your funeral you feel me just all this big talk just talk a walker so then when offset got a hold of it you know for offset he over there getting off his jet <laughs> laughing baby because he's like again i told y'all y'all were poor okay <laughs> I told y'all y'all were poor. I'm getting off a private jet. What is it really giving? Okay. All right. So then that's where some back and forth and things started to happen. Um, when Offset, uh, that's when I believe the DMs and things were leaked or whatever the case was, right? Sturdy was out here seeking some kind of clout and people tried to flip it on Offset. Like Offset is seeking clout because he got an album coming out. If he was seeking clout, he would have added them on his page versus DMing somebody. And then he told them not to share the DM. Then also told the man to get out his DM. And I said, Offset, now baby, wait, you can't be telling this man to get the hell out your DM when you done sat the hell up here and then hopped in his DM. You can't say that. Like what's going on? So anywho, what else happened? So that was a lot of back and forth. OK, a lot of the barbs decided to make these other allegations to deflect and say, oh, Offset's cheating on Cardi because he was over there doing a live with Kai Sinai. Come to find out that was his cousin. That was uh, the girl, the female voice in the background, his creative director that he was working on something else with. So none of that was happening. OK. Um, shortly after all of that happened, the people going back and forth, people saying she, whatever. Um, Nicki Minaj hopped her ass on damn Queen Radio, which she typically does, especially when it's controversy and gives dust. That's why I don't even listen to it for real. I listened to it the last time because y'all was like Nicki and Ross, so I went to it. But typically, girl, I'm not even gonna go over there because I know Nicki not gonna give us nothing but um antics, okay? Um, different voices like I be giving and um not addressing situations and just playing music like i knew she wasn't gonna get into no things you know but one thing she does is she posts to distract just like she posted the picture of her and kenneth and the baby walking in the back of a building that a lot of people thought was a damn school and they up there like oh my god like nikki y'all y'all said that he can't even be in the school and he in the school i'm like baby that's not no school that's not no school girl. It look like the back of a restaurant or something. It looked like they came through the back or something because they didn't want to be seen. Wherever, wherever they went, it looked like they went through the back because they didn't want to be identified or something like that. But y'all, are y'all okay? 
Um, what other? Uh, oh, they brought up the allegations about Cardi's dad and try to say that this man was out here. Uh, he he are women, but the timing just was not lining up. So because Kenneth is an R and y'all don't want to accept and acknowledge that that's who and what he is, y'all try to put her dad in the same situation. Y'all tried this years ago and it didn't work. <laughs> and it, it and it didn't work. It didn't fit the bill. So try something else. Like it's just giving real weird. Like like everybody's just crazy. Okay. Well, it's the funny thing is this. After all of that talk and trying to come up with different scenarios, excusing people's behavior, saying that this has nothing to do with Nicki Minaj, but everything to do with her husband. Her husband is a represent representation of her. You can't say that Offset make Cardi look bad and then think that that Kenneth doesn't make Nicki look bad. Girl, it's, the, it's given the same thing. OK, you just don't want to see it because she's a fave of yours. It is what it is. Um, but the gag for real was the fact that all this big boy talk that he was doing. He ended up getting home confinement, girl. What's really going on with that? You did all of this big talk on social media only for you to end up getting um, flagged. And they like, girl, you got to sit at the house. They say Kenneth Petty is back on house arrest after violating the terms of his three-year probation. Petty was recorded making threatening remarks towards a specific individual while in the company of someone with a criminal record according to his parole violation paperwork. Now, legal affairs reporter reporter Megan Cunif posted the paperwork on Twitter explaining that a judge has ordered Petty to serve up to 120 days of house arrest. Petty was captured on IG Live by his own accord, by his own accord, all right, waiting on a New York street and making threatening remarks towards Offset. Offset was not bothered, okay? He was busy, he was busy flying in a PJ rather than fighting in New York. Girl, y'all so missed it for this article. And then it was more that um the woman said, because a lot of people felt like Cardi and Offset called and snitched and did all of this and that, but that wasn't necessarily the case so it's being reported that probation officer and judge did not need an outside report or complaint to act on this cardi nor offset didn't even seem to care offset lol'd about it in a video as he walked off a jet i think while going to say hey to Deion sanders at the colorado game that lil wayne also happened to be at the Colorado game. Okay. So a lot of people were upset and felt like Cardi people were snitches and all this and that or whatever. But at the end of the day, y'all coming up with all these excuses that I have to just be honest. Okay. Cause if this was, if the shoe was on the other foot and it was offset, I would have to call him out accordingly, but y'all coming up with all these excuses to excuse this man's behavior on behalf of your fave, but then turn around and say that it has nothing to do with your fave. Well, the way that you're defending and deflecting shows that it has everything to do with your fave. So call a thing a fucking thing. In all honesty, the man made himself look a fool. These probation officers are humans just like us. So they have social media. They see everything that's going on. They see everything that's going on. So he did that to himself. There is nobody else to blame at all. At all. Nobody else to blame. And here's the gag. If he was not in violation of anything, it wouldn't matter who called. So if anybody did call, if he wasn't in violation, then it would have been like, oh, OK, well, thanks for letting us know. But it doesn't violate his parole because that's not what's on here. Da, 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 let's move on or his probation or whatever. Right. But obviously it did. But they didn't need nobody to call because they see that shit they sell. Like, girl, this on the world, worldwide web. Girl, he got himself in trouble. So hold that man ac accountable for his bullshit in my personal opinion. Now, this is what DJ Vlad had to say, girl, because this right here was missing. DJ Vlad says Nicki Minaj's husband is on house arrest for threatening offset. Right after that, she previews a song on IG saying that she got killers who will pull up and do what she say. This was the same Nicki who threatened to send her husband to academics house for his comments about her. This is the same Nicki who told Meek Mill to have his crew beat up Quentin Miller, which they which then happened. Have you ever heard a woman scream? My man will F you up over something she started herself. That's Nikki, he says. If you want to see how these stories end, check out my interview with Travis Rudolph. After an argument with his girlfriend, she sent her brother and three other guys to shoot up his house. One of them ended up dead. Another one got shot. Travis was charged with murder, which he luckily beat in trial due to self-defense. To all the men out there, I don't care how fat her ass is or how good the sex is. Avoid women like Nikki who use men as crash dummies like the plague. I said what I said 
Now that was rough. I was like, I didn't even know he had an issue with her for him to be coming at her hard, as hard as he did. Like, like damn. Like, girl, I ain't got no comment for that. That's what Vlad said. Like, that was like, you know what I'm saying? And then I kind of feel away when y'all white folks, you know, really be wanting to be into our culture so bad. But then when it's time for y'all to be in our culture and really speak up about certain things that's really happening, y'all be on mute. But when it comes to music and hip hop, y'all want to be so fucking involved in all of that. And that's what be killing me. Especially when y'all be trying to tell black folks that created hip hop how hip hop was created. Are you okay? But you know, so I just kind of feel a little way just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You definitely kind of called out some things, but at the same time, I don't have too much of an opinion on it. Um, because um, I I'm not agreeing with you in any fashion. But anyway, um, Missy, thank you so much for the super chat. Nikki on somebody's drugs. I don't give a fuck what folks say. <laughs> thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, what else happened? So another thing that Nikki did, once this story came out about her husband being con confined to the house only child. <sighs> Girl, I told y'all, then I thought I said, I said 30 was a liability. That's a fucking liability, honey. Okay, I mean, Kenneth is one in his own, but for the most part, he's been low key. I feel like that's the most I've ever heard from Kenneth as. And that was him being his 40 plus year old self trying to show the hell out on a block like he's still young with a fool that's putting everybody's photos in the frame, putting everybody's face in the frame to incriminate everybody. And all, and I'd be mad as hell if I then got put on home confinement, but sturdy then. Absolutely not. But anywho, girl. That's just what I'm saying. But this is what Nikki decided to do to deflect. And I thought it was hilarious because I said, girl, you were supposed to put this shit out months ago. So remember when Nikki Minaj's home was like swatted or something like that, or somebody called the cops and said this and that happened, or she was she was neglecting her kid or whatever it was. I remember this was like during the summertime and she was supposed to been drop this and she didn't drop it at all. Cause she said she found out who the person was and everything, but she didn't drop it. But you wait until your husband get on home confinement and then you decide to drop this. So she, she puts this up, this photo of this woman along with the audio and says, two times my home was surrounded by large guns. This person wanted a family with a two year old to be shot at, yet nothing on any blog. This same person made a false claim to CPS. When you have snitches in high places of the music industry who don't want you to win, but realize they can't stop you because God's anointing in my life is very real. Funny how this person hasn't been found, mentioned, arrested, nada. Queen Radio live from New York tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, which she didn't give nothing, is still protect black women or nah. No sympathy needed. Big different snippet alone doing numbers on TikTok. Body the VMAs. Pink Friday too. So good. OMG, can't wait for you guys to hear it. Make a video using big difference and all of that. But anywho, girl, it's giving deflection like a whole. It's giving heavy fucking deflection, girl. If you wanted this lady to be, uh, what what was it you said? Arrested, mentioned, found, or whatever the case was, then you should have posted her a long time ago. But it was the people on Twitter that was clocking all the different articles they actually did post about the story for me. And then it was the people in the comments that was dragging her saying, you want to talk about protect black women, but you was over here taking shots at Megan after she already took shots from Tort. Hello? But you wanted to sit up here and say this. And I said, oh, girl, that is clocking. Because let me say one thing the girl's going to do. They're going to pick and choose when to pick up that uh that black woman card. And that's why for me, I don't be going up for all this. Shit. I'm just, and I'm not going to. I don't care how nobody feels about it. Feel away. Yeah, I'm one. But I'm not going to always go up for it. I just can't. If you sound stupid, I'm going to judge you just on that. Not because you're a black woman. And because of you're a black woman, I got to side with you. I got to agree with you. I got to go along with your bullshit. I'm not going to do that. Okay, not gonna do it at all. Period. So I just I hate when people do this. That shit gets on my nerves. Like, and so black woman, you know, black women, da 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 da. And sometimes the conversation that that is necessary. That is necessary. Cause that is the situation, but all the time it's not like girl, what? But let's keep going because more people had things to say. Um, actually, before we get in some of the things, well, no, yeah, more people had things to say, like Nick Cannon. I believe what Courtney is saying is that he is tarnishing the brand. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is foolishness. And you're standing on the corner on the block outside of the VMAs. I like the one he didn't talk. If you a street dude, hello, be a street dude. Talk about it, Nick. Don't be on the internet. <laughs> that 
like you. Street out. dudes didn't even get on the phone. Like real gangsters move in silence. Hello? <laughs> he got a, a bunch of other cats around him. Like, yeah, we outside. We know, nigga. <laughs> we see the street light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for keeping it street, but keep it street smart. If I marry a hood nigga, I gotta babysit your ass for 120 days. Oh, nigga, you doing chores. Right. You a housewife. Go ahead and wash them dishes. You on punishment. You punish no for TV the for That's you it. for 120 <laughs> days. Now you pregnant. Shit. Let's go. I know that's right, but girl, you got to understand he was already a housewife, house husband. He was already that. So, okay, it ain't that new. It's just sad that he's going to be stuck in the house. And I say that because, like, I don't know if he's like Nikki Security or anything, but her album is about to drop. Her album is about to drop, I believe, November. I'm not sure the exact date, but I do know it's supposed to be in November. So if the album is supposed to be dropping and she's doing all this promo, she might want him by her side. But now he got to be confined to the house. I don't even know if she he's going to get special privileges or not. Now, we don't know how many days he's going to get in the home. They said up to 120 days. So I don't know if the true days have been decided or if they're going to, you know, put him on it and just see how it goes and make a determination as to when they'll take him off. You know, um, but the max that they probably won't go over is 120 days. So that's what we're not sure. He might just get 30 days. I don't know, but they say up to 120. So we shall see. Um, I feel like he's still going to be on it by the time her album drops. And of course, she's going to be out here doing all kind of promo and stuff, getting ready for that album. And she's probably currently doing it now. So I don't know, girl. We going to see. She be trying to make him dress him up and make him look like a family man so bad. When she be taking these family photos and I'm like, ah, Nikki, girl, it's not giving whatever you think that is giving. It's not. Girl, we like you. We we don't care for him. OK, but you being with him, making a side out of you and some of the antics of what the people have said about you um, and some of the own antics that you've given has made some people not like you as much either, girl. So, I mean, mm. <sighs> Get back. But there's more, okay? Because Charlemagne decided to go ahead and give him donkey of the day. And I, I wasn't mad at that either. Corny, lame. Like, there's nothing fly about that type of behavior. Oh. You know, the reality is he earned every bit of this because you had the audacity to be acting like that on the FBI's internet. You're 45 years old. You already on probation. You have a crazy criminal record already. And you telling somebody to plan their funeral online? Like, you begging mm -hmm. to go to prison. And it's incredible to me that all these street dudes have let the internet make them forget street rules. Number one, you should have been let go of all the childish ways of the street, first and foremost. That's number one. But number two, I remember a time when folks wouldn't talk about any dirt over the phone. Now y'all recording yourselves in Listen. 4K and posting it online. I know law enforcement be having a ball looking at these niggas. I know law enforcement do too. Like, you are so stupid. Like, this is going to be so easy for me. Roll the beautiful bean footage and lock this dummy up, okay? That's what it be giving. Child a mess. Now, listen. After all of that happened, girl, y'all know Jason Lee can't stand Nicki Minaj, honey. He say he, he kind of like her. You know, sometimes he be like he like her music, whatever. But high key, he can't stand Nicki, okay? Damn sure don't like the husband. He said that Nicki and Kenneth tried to threaten him. They wanted to get him assaulted. I think he talked about Ra Ali running down on him at that restaurant and how he wasn't going to put his hands on a woman or anything like that. Like, it's a, it's been a whole mess. So he decided he was going to go live, child, and he was going to drag Miss Nikki. And this is what he said. Nikki Minaj and her husband should be in prison. They are terrorizing people in the streets. You can't menace people in the streets and participate in RICO activity and think that a nigga not going to call your car. You try to have DJ academics beat up, allegedly. You've pressed other people about it. And there's a whole interview that somebody did with DJ Vlad where he outlined it. We posted that yesterday. So the receipts are all out there that you, you have a behavior of doing this. So why aren't you in prison? Why? Because people are afraid to tell on you? I'm not. I'm not. So the fact that y'all got the mayor of New York looking like a pussy because you got this whole black man up there trying to make New York better and y'all are basically running around like little kids at five o'clock in the morning trying to kill somebody. You went on the internet and said you were planning Offset's funeral and then people are mad because I'm taking my safety serious? Because I'm taking my safety serious? So what, I could criticize you. I could say Nicki Minaj was fat and then she lost weight and got Oz Ozempic. I could say her man is a rapist and a murderer. He's been locked up for that. He's on the pedophile, he's on the registry list. Sex, you can Google her address, it's, in, it's online. So they live in Calabasas, I got the address. How do I know? Because he's fucking on the registry list. So now you're claiming that Cardi B and other people called the SWAT team. Who got to SWAT you? Anybody could SWAT you. You're on the fucking registry list. And y'all keep trying to say that I got a problem with Nicki Minaj and her husband because of Cardi. Cardi B don't run no 
fucking thing over here. Cardi B is my friend. I have lots of friends. But that doesn't mean that none of them control me. Nobody fucking controls me. This mouth is not paid for. You cannot pay for my opinion. You cannot pay for my mind. I'm a fucking grown ass nigga from Stockton, bro. So the fact that y'all fans keep saying that I'm paid by Atlantic Records and all this other shit, you guys are all fucking delusional like Nikki, like her husband. Her husband for weeks. I've had I've been sitting on that receipt for a minute. Go look at the date. I had it for a while because I knew that this was happening. I knew it was coming. They've been talking about killing Cardi, hurting Cardi for months. Did I say anything? No. Did I post anything about the VMAs at first when they were talking about pop, pop, pop and tagging Cardi? No. Why? I even went on my Twitter and said, what Cardi said don't got nothing to do with Nicki. Why? Because I was trying to keep peace in the streets. I want everybody to get along. I want Cardi to be able to celebrate her successes and stop dealing with I want Offset to stay on a good positive track and focus on his kids and his new album. I want Nicki to be able to drop Pink Friday and drop more great music. I want Kenneth Petty to be able to live his life and not worry about being on house arrest for trying to kill people on the internet. But what I learned for sure is no matter how bad I want everybody to get along, no matter how bad I want people to piece it up, no matter how much I try to get everybody cool, I'm always the fucking bad guy. So you know what? Fuck you now. Now fuck all of you. Oh, wow. Not, not F everybody, honey. Not F everybody. Well, that's what Jason Lee had to say, okay? Pretty much going off on Miss Nicki Minaj and that husband of hers. Ooh, child, Mr. Kenneth Petty, all right? Um, that's just where we at, okay? Um, Nikki's not going to be leaving that man. She's going to be riding with that man that is the father of her child, so I definitely don't see her leaving him or anything anytime soon. I think that she's going to continue to try to make him, um, the term that's coming to my mind is palatable, for lack of a better word, but, you know, presentable to the people. I think she's going to keep having him around until she can change that image. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Child, yeah, girl, that's what's going on, honey. Um, I, I'm like, Kenny, where you messed up at at the end of the day was putting yourself on camera. You might be that thug dude behind the scenes, but when you put yourself on camera like that and you incriminate yourself like that, that's where all, that's where all this shit went to hell, for real, for real. Because then you know the hard, tough guy you was trying to present, you really made yourself look more foolish than anything. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe do it behind the scenes next time. Be a little bit more discreet, like so many people be out here trying to be. I don't know. Get somebody else to do it, honey. But either way, get yeah.